Funerals are never fun. My cat passed away a few months back, and real talk, that was really hard. But whether you are attending a funeral for your pet, a loved one, 29,188 frozen cheese and mushroom pizzas, or some mix of the three, there's often an explanation for why this beloved part of your life is no longer with you. Well, I don't know why Fido or Gram Grams dropped dead, I can tell you something about the pizzas I mentioned earlier. Mario Fabrini was born in what is now modern-day Croatia. While he was growing up, he lived under fascist rule, then communist Yugoslavia. After the Second World War, he immigrated to the United States and decided to settle in Osinik, Michigan, where, with the help of his wife, he would start selling frozen pizzas from his home kitchen. In less than a decade, he built his small business in his small kitchen in his small town to a big business in his big factory in his still small town. The town doesn't get any bigger, stupid. One of the toppings that Fabrini offered on his pizzas were mushrooms. These mushrooms were shipped to Fabrini in cans. Well, some employees noticed something weird while at the canning site. Hey, dude. Yo, what's up? Check out this mushroom. Oh my gosh, what the hell is wrong with that mushroom? It looks all swollen and, like, uh, ugh. Nah, bro, the mushroom's looking thick. Oh, what is wrong with you? I might go with the manager about this thing. This doesn't look safe. Bro, if I was that thing's boyfriend, I would- Hello, Mr. Bossman. Yeah, what do you want? Check out this mushroom I found. I think the machines aren't sealing the cans properly, making the mushrooms go bad. Dang, look at that mushroom. It feels so wrong, but like, feels so right. Oh, Mr. Bossman. Wait. <laughs> what were we talking about again? Oh, right, bad mushrooms. The factory that put the mushrooms in cans was switching from a human system to an automatic system. And because the automatic system was kind of iffy and didn't pack the cans as well as the humans, it caused the mushrooms to have botulism, which caused the swelling and could prove fatal to anyone that ate the mushrooms. The FDA wanted to test the mushrooms for the presence of the disease before they, you know, did anything crazy. So they did, and the results came back positive just like your pregnancy test. The customers of the canning company were contacted by the FDA and told to recall all of the mushrooms they sold. One of those customers was Tolono Pizza Products, a wholesaler who had sold the mushrooms to our boy Fabrini. The FDA personally contacted him and told him to recall his products. So he did, and that gave him 30,000 extra pizzas that he didn't know what to do with. So as a publicity stunt, he decided that having a funeral for the pizzas would be respectful and get rid of the tens of thousands of pizzas he had no idea what to do with. This event was later referred to as the Great Michigan Pizza Funeral. Hundreds of of people attended. And that was very impressive considering the town that this was being held in was home to no more than 1,800 people. The pizzas were poured into a hole 18 feet in depth or 5.5 meters. After the burial, Fabrini placed a wreath of red and white flowers on the grave representing the sauce and cheese of the food from the gods. The then governor of Michigan was an attendee and gave a very grave speech about the death of tens of thousands of pizzas. <laughs> about courage in the face of tragedy. Or some shit. We'll just pretend that first one was true. An audience member who saw that the pizza was the same frozen pizza that got messed up, asked for Brittany if it was safe to eat. He clapped back, I don't know, the governor's eating it and he's still alive. Heh, I like that joke. Unfortunately, he went out of business a decade later in the early 80s, selling the assets for a few thousand dollars. If you're bored and don't feel like attending a pizza funeral, you can instead stay in your comfy bed and subscribe, like, bell, comment, and idea you want me to turn into a video, and see ya.